Before, the Carnegie Stout Public Library opened its doors in 1902. It had already acquired several pieces of art. While the library is no longer actively collecting art, in an effort to preserve this connection, Carnegie Stout hosts art shows throughout the year to feature talented artists. My name is Nick Rossman, the Library Director for Carnegie Stout, and I'd like to invite you to enjoy taking the next few moments to learn about our current installation and featured artists. Welcome to Art of Your Library. I am really excited to have been part of, of this show, and we're starting out with a collaborative effort with Mike Reese. You can see my medal, and you can see Mike Reese's beautiful, beautiful inlay. Uh, woodwork and I don't know I'm only showing you one so you'll have to come and walk all the way around and see each piece. I wanted to share these with you I've never shared this with anybody before but these are recycled from my above ground pool that was so old it was falling apart so you can see the fronts and the backs of the pool and, and they're very light, and you kind of shape them gently, gently, gently in a sculpture. And so we have an angel, of course, and a couple of musicians, and then we have some families. I'm particularly pleased with fishing buddies. I guess it's fishing buddies, if you say that. Hi, my most exciting and newest work to share with you is resin printed, new with the maker space, and they let me do it. I'm so excited. And you can see these are 3D scans with my iPhones of my son and my husband. There are rings and things you can make, and it's so much quicker than additive printing. And when people are really talented, do look at the mouse. The mouse was don downloaded because I'm not that good an artist. But enjoy and please, please visit the Makerspace. Hi, my name is Mike Rice, and this is a display of some of my steampunk creations. They're made from recycled materials that I found over the years. And uh, I also have a valve switch on them, so that when you turn the valve, the light comes on, like this. Um, this is the rest of the display that I have at the library. I think you would enjoy coming down and looking at them, seeing them up close. Uh, I, my usual medium is wood. This year I decided to try something different. Hope you enjoy having to see it. Hi, this is Mike Rice, and uh, this is the display that I'm probably most excited about this year now at the Carnegie South. It's a collaboration of myself and the generosity of Gail Chavanel and uh, putting together something to honor caregivers, especially those who have cancer struck in their family, which involves many, many people, as we know, and our relatives. Uh, this is inlaid in this wood here in the back and in the front. There's some, also some inlay. And this part down here is some maple that I chose particularly for this. I think the combination goes together very well with Gail's metalwork and with my uh, woodworking in the background. I think you'll enjoy coming down looking at it. I'm Elizabeth Eagle and this is uh, my Lake House series. This is a series I've been working on really since 2017 and it has um, continuously grown into uh, different directions, but uh, with the constant of uh, the inspiration coming from uh, family photographs from the 1940s. And I've been particularly obsessed really with um, the lake house photos of this one particular family vacation from the 1940s. And I will uh, take pictures of the pictures, I will print them out and then I will deconstruct them and make collages from them and put different um, pictures together from different time periods. Recently, I became fixated with all the shadows happening within the photographs, so these are very heavily uh, detailed and very simple yeah. shapes and, uh, and shadows and light. Uh, the meaning of the life preservers, um, I have these 
consuming piles of life preservers um, from the lake house, acting as a visual metaphor, but also as a contradiction of action uh, where they are consuming and opposing to uh, being uh, a life saver. Um, and really, as I've been looking through these photographs for six plus years, becoming very familiar with, with the faces and the places, um, I really have started to think about it as almost a familial self-portraiture for myself. <laughs>